Hey guys, today's read aloud is called The Paper Bag Princess and it's written by Robert Munch and illustrated, that means the pictures were drawn, by Michael Marchenko. Today's book is all about a princess and a dragon. Let's get started. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had princess clothes and she was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing that she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was very easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forest and horse bones. Elizabeth is very upset that the dragon stole Ronald. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged the door. Knock, knock, knock. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today, and I'm very busy. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. Bang, bang, bang. The dragon stuck his nose out the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I've already eaten a whole castle today, and I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest, fiercest dragon in the whole world? Why, yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up fifty forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up a hundred forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the whole world in just ten seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and he jumped up and he flew all the way around the world in just ten seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and he flew around the whole world in just twenty seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon! But the dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dra dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you're a mess. You smell like ashes and your hair is all tangled and you're wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Does that sound like a nice thing for Prince Ronald to say? <sighs> Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince but you're a bum, <laughs> and they didn't get married after all. The end.
princess, the princess was very clever, wasn't she? Elizabeth, she wore out the dragon and got him to use up all of his fire breath and fly around the world till he was too tired to stop her. She was, she was very clever. She must have thought real hard about what she was going to do. All right, guys, that's our read aloud for today. We'll see you tomorrow.